today on Black Pyramid Egg Shooting, I want to show you something you do not want to do when you go out to the range. Oh my friends, picture this. It's a beautiful Saturday morning. You finally get a Saturday off to go out and do a little bit of shooting with your buddies. You get your favorite percussion gun out so you can go join the match and you get up to the very first line the very first shot of the day and you get out your little patch get a little bit of Mr. Flintlock lube put it right on the patch get the old ball out of the pouch and get it ready to ram home and boy does that go down easy in there oh my goodness you ready to rock and roll you get your ramrod put in there and time to get the old thing loaded up. Ready to go. Let's see if I can hit anything. You know what that meant I did? I did something that was a no-no. That's what you call dry ball in your gun. That's right, my friends. You put the powder, patch, and ball method in the wrong order. I put patch and ball in and no powder. So now what do you do about it? Your ball is stuck in the gun. You can't shoot. Your buddies are laughing at you by now. So there's several things you can do to get these things out. You can use a CO2 bottle, which I have pictured here. And I can show you how to use that in a different video. Or I'll show you how I take the nipple out of this gun pour a little bit of powder down into it and just shoot it out. So around my neck here, I keep the cappers here for the gun, but also keep a nipple wrench on here. And the key thing to that is this, is pull it back here, is I could take the nipple out right here. Ooh. Now the key thing to remember is, is when you take this nipple out, you must keep up with it. Don't drop it in the grass, because if you lose it, unless you've got a spare one in your shooting pouch, you are done for the day. So, I have, I just dropped it. That's a very teachable moment. You do not drop the nipple because I uh, happen to have this little magnetized light in the truck and uh, kind of screwed it on the ground here and voila, there it is. So you do not want to lose the nipples because if you lose the nipples, you're done for the day. So I will carefully put this one in my pocket to keep up with it and show you how to dislodge the ball. I get some Swiss 3F powder, which is normally what I use in this gun, and trickle it right down into the touch hole. Just put a little bit down in there. Shake it around a little bit. Get all I can down in there and hit it for round two. I don't care about spilling a little powder here because it's more important for me to get the ball out than it is to worry about losing a little bit of powder. And I'll try it again. Maybe you'll get 20, 25 grains of powder down in here if you're lucky. And I put as much as I can get in there. And I don't care if I have to bang it three or four more times to get it in there. So try to get that bolster filled up clear up to the top. Now ah, get some more down in there. I mean, after all, there's none in it to start with. Remember, I dry balled it. So, this is what you could do if you're out in the field and you don't have a CO2 bottle with you. Actually get the powder out. You may be miles up in the woods hunting your favorite deer or bears or whatever and you'll be into a jam. Now yeah, let's see if that's enough. When you think you have enough in it, which is always a poker shoot because you don't know how much to put in it, I try to put 25 or 30 grains in it, maybe 40. I can't measure it, so I don't really know, but I'll put the uh, nipple back on. 
once I get the nipple back on, I just simply put a cap back on it and see if we can just fire it out. That worked. Got it out. To prove it, I'll show you here. Yeah. That's a very simple way to get your percussion gun back in business if you happen to dry ball one and you're out in the middle of nowhere without a ball puller or a CO2 bottle. Thanks for watching. Maybe someday we'll get together and burn a little powder and you can laugh at me because I'll probably be the one to drop all the gun first. Have a great day. We'll catch you next time.